Hey everybody, welcome back. And same as last time, as you can see, I did some grinding in the background. And I got our culture all the way up to 99, but we're still only in the 70 range with Lawrence, which really sucks. And as you can see, cutscene! <clears throat> I was in the ice cream shop, busily making cones for two new customers. Sitting on a stool at the counter was Lawrence, who was for some reason acting strangely today. Here you go, two vanillas. I handed the girls our ice cream and cashed their payment as soon as they left. Now that the influx of the customers was mostly over, I sat down at the counter too and peered anxiously at Lawrence. Lawrence, are you all right? I looked over. He looked over at me, smiling politely but briefly. Oh yeah, I'm fine. How about you? I'm good. My feet are still ache from the toddler ran over me with his toy truck, but otherwise it's been a okay day. He nodded distractedly. I got over the feeling that he wasn't feeling too well. Lawrence, tell me the truth. What's wrong? He shrugged and ignored my concerned glance. Hey, something's wrong, game. I'm alright. You don't. You don't look like that. <laughs> you insist. This angered me a little. He was obviously not okay. There was something on his mind that was making him act like this. But it annoyed me that he didn't want to admit it what it was. Lawrence, I thought we were friends. Friends aren't supposed to tell each other when- uh, are supposed to tell each other when something's wrong, goes wrong. Stop trying to hide what it is. Tell me so I can help you. He sighed, but his eyes regained a little- of the warm look that he usually had. I feel kind of alone in the universe. <laughs> I frowned, furring my brow in confusion. Why, well, you have lots of friends, do you? I don't know why, I just you know, was thinking maybe I should move. No, don't you dare move! We still- Sorry! <laughs> I freaked out of it. I gasped quietly, my eyes growing wide and something inside me stirring. Move, move where? He shrugged again, staring at the wooden counter and tracing the lines with his fingers. Somewhere other than town. I'm not sure. I just think I feel like getting away from here. Are you crying? I just looked up and he's crying. Baby, don't, please don't cry. Oh no, please don't. I like working with you and you're a great friend. I don't understand why you feel alone, but I'll do my best to help. He mulled his words over and smiled hesitantly. You done crying? Really? Yeah, of course, I don't want you to go. Just stop crying! <laughs> My god! Thanks, then I won't. Well, that was- that was easy. That was an easy, uh... Awesome. Conversation. Can we talk to Lawrence again? Yeah, we can! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Wrapping this game up! Wrapping it up! That's what we're gonna do. I just realized this is the third boy, and next is just Eddie, and then the whole game's over. Woo! Actually, we still gotta get the alone ending, which I'm totally gonna do. We're totally gonna be a loner. I have nothing to do. <laughs> so I guess I'm just gonna fuck around. Watch TV. Well, you failed at watching TV. Good job, Amarantha! Good God! Ugh. You make me tired. She makes me tired. <laughs> I got hiccups. Uh, let's go to the park. The park is just so beautiful and stuff. You can relax and stuff. Oh, there was this young couple on the bench in front of me. They were kissing. So romantic. Sigh. Jog. Yeah! Yeah! Do it again! Yeah. Yes! Aw. Let's go dance. Okay. I decided to stop at the trendy pub to get a drink and and relax after, I, after a long time I got at work. When I got there, I noticed something very out of the ordinary. Or rather, the presence of someone that was very out of the ordinary. The fuck you doing here, boy? <laughs> I set my glass down on the counter and walked over to where I saw none other than Lawrence hiding. The pub was full of people and very crowded, but he looked out of place enough to still stand out. Hey, what are you doing here? Hey, uh, hi, I'm glad to see you. He looked startled when I trapped, tapped, bleh, tapped on his shoulder. I'm surprised to see you here. It's such a coincidence. You come here often? Uh, that was my first time, actually. 
Well, is that so? Why did you come? Very well, it seemed like an interesting place to stop by. I looked at him skeptically, and he just looked embarrassed. Really, that sounds a bit unlike you. Do you have a date or something? I suppose- that music scared the fuck out of me. I suppose there might be another reason, but what? What? But what? What? Don't worry about it. No, tell me! I know what he's hiding. Tell me, Lawrence. Okay, I was worried about you since you seem so distant at work, so I Okay, I don't think I wanted to know that, so I followed you. He looked even more embarrassed and uneasy as he explained, but I only frowned at his excuse. Not chatting, take care of myself. I tried to keep the amusement out of my voice as I spoke, but he seemed to take me a bit too seriously. Uh, I know, I know, I was just worried. I wanted to see if you're alright. You're being silly. I chuckled as I shook my head. Am I? If you want to go out with me, all I have to do is ask. He blushed as he scratched the back of his head and his gaze fell to the floor. Oh, well, thanks for saying so. Are you going to hang out for a while tonight? I'm sorry, but it's red really late. Get up right and early tomorrow. I'd better get home and head to bed. Say work tomorrow. See you. What? Well, I didn't get any points for that! That sucks ass! And I didn't save! Go dance. <laughs> That's not the <laughs> this. Dance your heart away, little girl. Dance it away. I hate myself. <laughs> I don't need to go here. <laughs> what am I doing? I failed you, Lawrence. I should have kept my fucking mouth shut. <laughs> The voice is cracking and stuff. Go home. We're gonna go talk to Judith. Judith! That was easy. Gossip is always so cool to listen to. Gossip is a fucking sin. Oh, that's why I said fucking that in that easy. sentence. <clears throat> oh, oh, my voice. Oh, why? I need a drinky poo. Ooh. <clears throat> Set it down where I won't spill it. There we go. Yay! There we go. That's the sounds we're gonna be making soon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was like, holy shit. Record that and make it like a <clears throat> sound effect. Because that was crisp and pure and beautiful. We're gonna go dance. We're gonna go dance. Do it! Yeah. Woo! That was easy. Yeah. Come here, Lawrence. <laughs> Come here. I know. I know this shit by now, but... That was easy. Didn't give me a, a summary. Aw. Go to the park. Relax. Oh! Yeah. Why is the park closed at sunset? That fucking sucks. Wasn't expecting this. Sigh. <laughs> I know the feeling, my deviant art. Sigh. <laughs> I know it all too Yay! well. Giggity. Okay. So. So. Lawrence! <laughs> I feel like that's what that's what his mother sounds like. Like he still lives with his mother. He lives in like, I don't know, the basement or the attic and you just hear What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what am I so Why am I so entertained by that? I think it's because of the way I just yelled that. It sounds so beautiful. What? No. Oh my gosh. Attend that fucking concert! Oh, oh yeah. Yeah! Yay! 
Near closing time, I was busy wiping the counter while Lauren's polished the tables. The radio was playing continuously, and I have listened to the talk show while I focused on scrubbing the particularly stubborn stain of blue icing from the edge of the counter. A girl on the radio was talking about how she fell in love with a friend of hers, but couldn't tell him how she felt since she was engaged to somebody else. Without thinking, I spoke up. What the fuck do you want me to say? Well, it's too late now. Lauren looked up at me confused. What? <laughs> what? The girl on the radio. That, she, that man's about to marry somebody else. She didn't take the chance when she had it, and she should have. Sh she should sh sh shut up now. She can't go and possibly ruin his and his fiance's life. Kind of. Whoa! No! 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 <laughs> No. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's stupid! What well, is? And now that the radio. If she loves him, then she should just tell him. Total contradicting of what the fuck you just said! Lauren thought this over, formulating his argument. But it's not that easy or simple. I snorted diversely. Of course it is. People who are in this type of situation just think that it's difficult, but it's not. Just go up to him or her and tell him how you feel! <laughs> Love, Doctor. Amarantha. But for some people are more shy than others, they don't have the courage to put their confession on the line like that. Shook my head at him, slightly annoyed at his naivety. Night, night, whatever. Naivety. You either tell him or you keep it to yourself and let the person you love go without even taking a chance. I can hurt and it might be embarrassing telling the truth like that. Sorry. Ow. But it's worse if you don't. He looked like he still wanted to argue, but my words seemed to make sense to him. Whoa! Now I can fuck around for the rest of the game! <laughs> he looked back down at the table he was polishing, and I returned to the counter. The radio changed to a song by 65, and we didn't speak again until closing time. <laughs> I want you to know that I literally just put my arms up in the air when I was going, Woo! Because I was just so happy that I don't have to worry about it now. But I don't know what to do now. I'm going to cut here, and I'll see you guys at the end of the game. BRB. I sat behind the desk of our brand new home with a pen in hand and a stack of notebooks to my right. <clears throat> Okay. I was smiling as I wrote. I wasn't writing poems about lost love anymore. I was writing a poem to the man I to the man I love the most, who is right beside me. Amy, the opening. What? I can't wait. Sorry. I like how her head is in the background too. Motorcycle ride. Yeah. There are people lined up outside the ice cream parlor. I think they're here for my ice cream where you're ready. What? That's a tough one. <clears throat> I'm kidding you both when they want to meet the one who you don't play this poet a man right the Your name looks so lovely on the cover of your books of poetry. Oh, you're embarrassing me. Thank you though. I really hope that they like I write what I like for them. But... Well, I hope they like what I write for them. They'll adore it. Everything you write is brilliant. Alright, kiss ass! Ass kisser, I don't know. Your writing is just as good, though. You're giving me so much too much credit. There's <laughs> a famous poet around here. Well, you could be too. Your book of poetry hasn't come out yet. I'm sure you're going to do just as well as me. I'll always have. I'll always support your writing more. You've got to save your best poems for me, okay? You know I always will, but you've got to do the same. Oh, love, darling. I write. I only write for you. Ah. Uh, Look, you don't look like a fucking dork right now. Now you're really trying to embarrass me. Despite my words, since he knew I was only kidding, I was smiling as he leaned down and kissed me. Special Lawrence ending unlocked. Can I do that one? Love is something eternal. 
The aspect may change, but not the essence. Vincent on the ghost. Can I get the special ending now? What about the special ending? I want to do a special ending. Skip! Fun. Yeah, credits. Hold on. I might have missed something. Hold on. Excuse me one moment! <laughs> I'm just gonna skip this! So I can get the special ending because I got 99 culture. I want to do a special ending. Bring it on. Bring it on. Because it usually gives me a choice. Yay! <laughs> I want to do the special ending, you fuck! Alright, hold on. <laughs> Main menu. Yes. What do you mean? What do you mean? I did that! What? 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 Complete Lawrence Romance subplot and maximize culture. Complete Lawrence Romance subplot. Oh, hold on a second. I know what to do. <laughs> I know what to do! I'll be right back! I want you all to know how fucking frustrating that was. Pretty much all she did was spend time at the pub drinking and dancing until I got to this point in time. <laughs> something was not right. Lawrence had been acting strangely recently, and I had to verify something. When I reached home, the first thing I did was turn on the computer and check my emails. I had a nagging suspicion. Sure enough, I was right. One. No, the email from the secret admirer sat waiting in the inbox. Sent only a while ago, I clicked and opened and read a message. Dear Amy, this will be your last email. I am moving tomorrow because I cannot bear to be so close to you every day, and yet not close enough. You will only consider me as a friend, so I'll be bigger man to leave from FUCK! <laughs> I sat sad for a moment, then laughed and makes this blue to say, but quickly I clicked to reply. Dear Lord, just survive! I clicked that way of reply. What? What is this? Thank fucking. Oh, I got the ending. Oh, I thought it was a bad ending. Holy shit! I was so worried. I need to stretch. Okay. Yesterday. Today's our grand opening. Yay. Isn't it wonderful we finally got an ice cream shop of our own? I'm so excited to see what kind of customers we'll get. I sure will have plenty. You have the best ice cream in town and the cutest girl in town looking here. Ha! Ah! I giggled and blushed at his compliment. Shh, there are people waiting. I hear you. I don't like to be complimented in public. It's okay for you to do it. You to do. Lauren smiled at me, his eyes almost sparkling. Fair enough, I read up in the store. Of course, having any excited about it, I hardly slept last night. Alright, I'm flying asleep in the freezer. Well, we both laughed at his joke, looking around the small ice cream parlor. It wasn't as large as the one we originally both worked at, but we had to put a great deal of work into every part of it. We were determined to be successful. We could have done as well, you yeah, know, so much. Gross, terrible no longer could be the same. Length as hers. <laughs> I looked up at him, meeting his gaze, and smiled. You really don't have to thank me. I'm just happy we are able to do it together. With another word exchanged, she leaned over and kissed me while snipping the ribbon in front of the door, announcing our opening. Just back up. <clears throat> thank you. That's all I wanted. That's all I wanted. Love is not our choice, but in our face. 
John Deere. Dyron. Dyron. Fudge. Finally. Woo! Okay, I was actually able to get both endings this time. Go me. Thanks. Even when your thoughts forget the times we share. So I got both of Lawrence's, I just need both of Aaron's and both of Hughes. <laughs> Next is Eddie. I'll see you guys next time.